what's up youtube this is the needed podcast episode 92 man and this i mean you know i i'm at a crossroads right now i talk about crossroads a lot chat i talk about it a lot when madden like if you want to be good or you want to be bad or you want to be a complainer i talk about the crossroads right i'm at a crossroads in my content career i guess or my mental my mindset right chat that's where i'm at my mindset for my my purpose my purpose now, i'll be honest chat as we get into this podcast right here as we get into the get into the get into the get into the what is up what is up what is up listen i am listen i don't have no i don't have no intro i don't have enough let's just get right to the shits me myself right i love madden right one million percent like, it is probably my biggest passion in life because football, Madden is a simulation of football. No matter how far you want to stretch that word or how you want to take that word, if you want to take that, how literal you want to take that word, it is a football simulation. We all grew up football fans. You know, I am a Madden fan because I'm a football fan. And I think that speaks for 95 to 100% of Madden players. Like, we are purebred football fans. I hope, chat, you guys can agree with that. And YouTube, you guys can agree with that. Like, we are football fans before everything, right? So, to me, that is why I love Madden. Because I'm able to control my team, be the coach. I'm able to call the timeouts, call the right plays. That's why I love it. That's what attracted me. That's why it's... My biggest passion is playing Madden. Uh, one of my favorite players growing up was um, Peyton Manning. I think all of us, honestly, Chad, now you guys agree. I think everybody that watches football at some point had the utmost respect for Peyton Manning, right? Peyton Manning is probably like one of the few people that nobody can hate Peyton Manning, right? I, I feel like Peyton Manning is like that everybody has respect for Peyton Manning. Whether you are you were like a rival of his, if you're a Patriots fan, no matter what. Like Peyton Manning is just, you know, a model citizen, just a great player to watch. And I feel like you're always a fan of, of Peyton Manning, right? And what he would do at the line and make hot routes and everything and just dissect the defense and call the right play at the right times is what separated him from every other quarterback at the time. You know, and so that and our opportunity to try to be kind of like Peyton Manning was playing Madden, you know, and that's something that drew me to Madden. And uh, one thing I always wanted Madden to grow, and I, I've always felt like this. This is how I've always felt. If I could just sit down and explain why I love Madden and why I enjoy it so much, that I could make anybody else feel the same exact way. As long as they're a football fan and they have an open mind, I feel like I could explain it and I could open people's minds to why I love the game so much. And I feel like... If they saw what I saw and they enjoyed what I enjoyed, they would like Madden just as much as I do. You know, they would live for the game just as much as I do. You know, I've always felt that way. And since I've gotten uh, more into the community and more into the world, essentially, um, it's always been something that I felt like, you know what, this is something I want to do. I want to make people see competitive Madden. I want to make people see the nuances of the game. I want to make people see uh, what the naked eye doesn't see. You know, what the what the casual doesn't see, I want to help people see that. I want to help people love this sport that we all have a passion for, right? And it's something I've always wanted to do, man. And, and honestly, in this position that I, I have put myself in, as a, a, a Madden content person, right? I still feel like it is my biggest passion is to make people understand what makes competitive Madden great, no matter what the year may be. Whether it be this year, and this year was terrible for the competitive side. It was terrible, you know? And, and it's, it, it is, and it's honestly probably one of the harder ones to explain to people, you know? And, 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 but I still feel I could do it for anybody. You know, I could do it for anybody. I could, if someone is open-minded, I just feel like they're, they're, I have so much passion in it. But this week, man, and and and, and I've also felt like it, it's one of my jobs to kind of bring these two groups together as best as possible because uh, I I feel like. No other game has this big of a disconnect between the fans. I don't think there's like, I feel like Call of Duty, every Call of Duty player looks up to the competitive side. Like, yo, you know, Skump is great. Or Nade Shot in his time is great. You know what I'm saying? Whoever is great now, 
you know, they're great. You know, that's who we look up to. I feel like Madden is not that way. One, it's already a small game. Uh, and then to split the viewership is rough. So I feel like, bro, I'm in a position to really kind of open each side's eyes to the other side of the Madden fanhood. Like to try to bring these two groups together. That's always something I feel like, man, I could do that. You know, and this week I was just absolutely exposed to the most closed-minded, just ignorant, angry people in the world. Like I have like I, I have just never seen th- these people this mad about something that at the end of the day, chat. At the end of the day, the Xbox has a button that you can turn this shit off. You know? It has a middle button that you can hold down and scroll through all the other games on your console and do something else. You know? There are so many activities a human being can do in their lives that if this is making you this miserable, why are you why are you why are you mad about it? Like that's that's what I I don't understand. Like, and 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 the misconception that we have is that it, it's the franchise guy. I, I mean, I think the franchise guys are. I think they're super bots. I, I I do think they're bots, but I feel like they're an important part of the community. I don't think they're ignorant. I just think they're bots. Cause this is how I feel. Like if you were good at the game, right? Say you were the best person in the CFM, right? I, I'm the kid of, of, you know, John and Tom CFM, and I'm kicking their ass. At some point, you kind of get curious, like, bro, maybe I could win some money because I'm so good, right? So I feel like if you're never curious of that, if you're never attempting to get to that, I just feel you're a bot. That's just, that, that's just kind of how I feel, you know? But I, t- t- this week, I really was like, bro, I, I and I'm going to show you guys this absolute right now this guy this guy ryan moody this this guy you know i i have never the only time i have had any interaction with this human being in my four years or whatever of being in the madden community at this level it has always been something negative it has always been talking negatively about another person or Madden in general. There has never been an ounce of talent from this man, an ounce of positivity from this man, an ounce of anything credible other than absolute pure negativity either on another person or the game. That's it. You know, and I feel like, I honestly feel like me, I'm at the spot that I'm at because I am talented in so many areas. You know, and and for someone to have the only thing they can do is talk negatively and rile up an angry mob that also is that mad at their life and that's that mad at their situation, it's easy to do. You know, if that's the way you have to go about it, I mean, what are you really bringing to the table? So, So now I myself, now I myself, Took a lot of time, man. The biggest question I've gotten in the last four years, or at least, right? The last four years, the biggest question I have gotten is, how do I compete? Because what these sim guys or these angry, angry human beings don't realize that there is a, a plethora of players that look at me, that look at Kiv and Drenny and Joke and say, this game changed their lives right? This game changed their lives. The money they won has changed their lives. How can I do that? You know, there is a whole group of kids, kids, men, everybody that plays men that think that. How can I do that? And that becomes their goal. Rather than shitting on their game, they're trying to figure out how can I help this? I'm good at the game. How can I get to the level where it changes my life? How can I get there? There is such a group of people that want that, and those are the people that continually ask me, how do I compete? So I think to myself, because I'm talented, and I don't need to always talk shit on something or someone to get people to listen to me, I think, you know what, how can I help all these people at once? So I say, you know, I can make a video about, you know, I can make a video about, you know, let's see what they can do. Let's see how I can help these guys, 
get ready to compete in Madden 21. So I take the time to make this video. I say this is going to be a great idea. This is going to work for me. And honestly, listen, and honestly, it was one of my most successful videos in the off season of Madden. Me, myself, who's not the biggest YouTuber in the world, I got 10,000 people to watch this video and show me a magnitude of support. A magnitude of support. And for me, I was excited because, man, this could start a little serious for me and everything. And this guy, Mr. Negative Angry, nothing, absolutely nothing positive that he brings to the table says, you know what? Let me tear that down because I need people to listen to me because they're not going to listen to my life. They're not going to listen to my day. They're not going to listen to what I can do. They're just going to listen to who I can shit on and who I can rile them up to get mad at because they're also mad just like me. So he says, you know what? I'm going to take this video and I'm going to spin it any way I like, you know, and they and he turned this video and he spun it to a point where, OK, now this guy's not talking to competitive people. He's talking to. Uh, anybody that plays man, which isn't the case, but honestly, if you told me, I would probably tell people that that anybody that plays the game get there. I mean, this is a good. I'm a good looking guy. So, this is my video now. Now it has 340 dislikes. I don't think I have 340 dislikes in my entire uh, catalog. All right, it's crazy. Now these guys come, and I want to just read these comments, bro, because. These comments are, these comments just, they, 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 they like, one, they're just going to laugh, bro. Everything you said was the problem with Madden in the first place. So essentially making, people not making excuses is a problem because that's one of my topics I made. If you haven't watched this video uh, and you're listening to this podcast, man, I'm sure, sure go ahead and check this video out. It is probably 10 videos down on my list of recently uploaded. Uh, and, you know, for me. Um, it, it, it is pretty much one of my biggest passions helping you guys get ready to compete. And one of my biggest things that I've got from this, this video is that, man, excuses will hold you back in every, not even mad and in everything in life, they will hold you back. Seriously. Oh, it's too, it's too hot out to go work out. You're going to stay fat forever, right? Excuses and, and talking yourself into a reason why you can't do something, essentially a more elaborate excuse will always hold you back. So excuses were my last thing on this list because for me, that is the number one, that's the that's the most important thing. And, and, and so for me, that being a problem with Madden, I don't think so at all. And this dude, Rusty Shackelford, like this guy, I'm just these trolls, man, I promise you. Uh, this dude actually telling people to spend hundreds of dollars on a broken game. Yes, if you would like to compete, absolutely. You are competing against people that are spending thousands and thousands of dollars and thousands and thousands of hours. So if you're not going to do that, good luck. You're probably not going to compete. That's just the reality of the situation, man. I'm a reality type of person. I don't live in a fairy tale land, okay? I'm talking to mostly kids. I... A, can I get an age check in my chat right now? Can I get an age check in the chat? I got to go back to this display, though, so we can see the chat. Can I get an age check of the kids I'm talking to right now? Come on. Let me see. Is there anybody that's... Have we got any teenagers? Anybody under 16 in my chat? And honestly, YouTube, if you're, if you're listening to this, uh, I want you to put your age out there and tell me how many kids I'm talking to. Seriously, I just want to know how many kids I'm talking to. Because I don't really come off as a, a kid is my target audience. I don't feel that way. Honestly, I think it's one of my downfalls and something I want to improve in. Uh, I wish I did have more kids to listen to. Um, you know, I but I don't. I really don't think. I really don't. I think of the uh, 150 people or so that commented, I think maybe 20 to 30 were under 21, honestly. You know, I think my target, I think per, my target audience is between, you know, 18 and 35, you know, or 18 and 45, really. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, yeah, and, and then, and someone to promote children gambling. I don't think that was ever on this. <laughs> I don't never thought this was ever on my. I never said go gamble. I don't think I ever said that. Let me try to get make this a little bit bigger for you guys to see. I don't think I ever said let's go gamble. I don't think that was ever part of the. I don't know. Everyone, don't listen to this clown. Who is here from Ryan Moody? Grab mommy or daddy's credit card. I'll be honest. In my 20 years of playing Madden or what, 10 years of playing Mutt, I don't, my parents have never paid for any of my cards. I don't know about you guys. I wish, I wish. 
Step one, don't buy Madden 2020. Well, I mean, honestly, let me know how that goes for you, man. Because like I said today, man, if, if all the boycotting, I can't wait to see how it affects EA stocks this year. I really can't wait to see how that works, how all the boycotting works, really. I watched until he got to mutt. This guy misses the boat on why Madden is garbage. Me, I don't think Madden is garbage. I think it had a pretty shitty year. You know, I think it definitely needs improvements. But Madden garbage? I, I enjoy it. I don't know. 10 things you need to do to win an EA major. This guy, high haters, got all the answers. Open your wallet, pull out your credit card, type in credit card number, click save, buy mutt packs, open mutt packs, rinse and repeat. So if you could win $100,000 by doing that, why wouldn't you spend $1,000, right, chat? If it was that easy to win $1,000, win $100,000, why wouldn't you do that? Mutt ruin Madden when you lose into the game, instant mutt ad. I, these people are so absolutely lost, man. Not all Madden fans are buying Madden for Mutt. I mean, that I mean, you're absolutely right. But that's why my target audience of this was people that wanted to compete. Not necessarily people that want to play Madden. That's not dear Madden players. If you want to have fun of Madden, do this. I just... So these, these people and, and this angry mob to me had me... It had me feeling like literally it's impossible to talk to these people. It's impossible to... To, it's impossible to bridge uh, the two communities together. That's what it made me feel like, honestly. And for me, and for me, uh, don't you still playing? Yeah. For me, and get to that point, man, it's depressing because it's like, bro, like, what else? What am I going to do? Bro, the, the angry mob was terrible. Yes, like, don't. They were so angry. And it makes me think, like, why do you do this? Do any of you guys really hate Madden? Like, seriously. Oh, the YouTube community is furious. Madden Mobile, I turned on Madden Mobile today, and I, I honestly was disgusted that people play that. I don't know how anybody ever plays that. Juicy, bro, it ain't, bro, it ain't that big a deal. It's just like... This is one thing I, like, how can one man, like, how can one man do that to another person? I, I have never had the heart or, like, the mind to do that, to, to, to just absolutely degrade somebody's thoughts and, and, and work like that, you know? I just feel like, I honestly feel like it's the most disgusting thing another human being can do. Really, I, I, when somebody, anybody's work, anybody's passion to absolutely degrade it in order for people to look at you is honestly the most despicable thing a human can do. I really, truly believe that. Look, this person's working hard. They're accomplishing something. Let me tear that down to get people to look at me. To, to, that is an absolute scumbag. Seriously. It's just... Uh, no, seriously. You know? That's just, that's just how I feel about it, honestly. You know? How to have fun on Madden without spending a dime. Play this shit. Did y'all have fun on the beta? How much did the beta cost? How much did the beta cost? I I had fun playing the beta. But it but even Clint, dude, even somebody like Clint, bro, like he y'all act like Clint doesn't care. You know? Like you act like Clint does. That's how we kind of act like Clint doesn't care. Come on, bro. Stop it. Shut up. All right, see, that's where you guys got me lost. Exactly. All right. It, 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 like, it's. You know what I'm saying? I didn't, exactly, that's what I'm saying. And, and this is the thing. 
infamous 1 million percent. I'm talking to a target audience. My target audience was 1 million percent clear. I, I was clear as day about the target audience. But yet, no, let me tear this down because, listen, there, people have no reason to look at me. I am a talentless fuck. And people have no reason to look at me. So let me give them a reason by trying my best to tear someone else down. That is just the absolute pit of just this just despicable human being <laughs> exactly <laughs> target audience how do we go from playing like scrubs to playing good if we're not tryhards you try hard <laughs> I, I I'm listen at the end of the day I feel like Ryan is I mean I guess he's not super ignorant but I, I asked him to be on a show. He said he has his own podcast and he's not allowed to do other shows. We may talk and record it or something. I don't know what he was saying, but he could not join the show because he was like, I have a deal where I can't be on other shows. I, I mean, I wasn't going to beg him, honestly, really. That wasn't my biggest deal, honestly. I... I you know, I don't have anything to gain. Long hair, that's the that's one of the reasons. Like, bro, I don't want to. I'm on top. Like, listen, this is my, listen, my arc is this way. My arc will always be going up. You know why? Because I don't need to talk about another person. I don't need to talk about negative shit. Because everything I got going on is positive. And it's my own talent and my own effort. So my arc is here. It will steady to be here. As long as I want my arc to go this way, it will go this way. His arc is 1 million percent dependent on other people he can talk bad about it and mad and talking bad about it. 1 million percent dependent on talking about other people. Whereas me, I don't need to talk about anybody else in the world. Shit, I don't even need Madden to be good. I'll play Jax on stream and we'll have fun. Period. Seriously. The tiki torches. <laughs> my man Dice. Dukes. My man. Where's my man Dice and Dukes at? I mean, listen, P10, you know this, man, because you ain't here all the time. It's the difference between the CFM nerds and, and the angry people. I feel like they're, they're completely different people. CFM nerds are just bots, bro. And bots are good because bots have good hearts. And you guys make... Because listen, I, PTA, you know this. You watch me play every other game. I am literally a bot at every other video game that I play. Right? I am literally a bot at every other video game that I play. Literally a CFM bot at every other game that I play. Right? So for me, for me, it's kind of like me legit complaining about Call of Duty. Right? It, like, I, I feel like I have zero place to say what's good and bad in Call of Duty or good and bad in MLB. I honestly feel like I have zero place of that because I'm not good enough to tell other people what's bad and good. Right? That's what I'm saying. It's right. Like, I'm playing Call of Duty. I'm a bot. Right? I go to shoot somebody. They start jumping and sliding. I feel like I can't bitch about that. It's not real, but he just shit on me. Right? So I know what it's like to be a bot. That's why, honestly, what's crazy, I'm in the I'm in the weirdest position in gaming. Because I know what it's like to be an absolute bot, and I know what it's like to be elite. And as an elite Madden player, when I hear the bots talk, that I have that reference when I talk about other games. I don't ever want to sound like the bots when it comes to other games. I never want to put a tweet out like, yo, man, hitting is way too hard in MLB. They got to change something. Because I know what that sounds like on the flip side. 
So I got both sides. Of, I have both sides of the argument. Like, I literally know what you guys sound like when you're bots. So I don't complain about a game that I suck at. I don't because I know I suck at it. And I probably would like it better if I was good at it. That is the ultimate question to all these madmen or the ultimate statement, man. You would like the game so much more if you were good at it. Period. Nobody likes something they're bad at. Right? Shit. I was getting my ass kicked on MLB. I was having zero fun today. I didn't like it. Because I'm not good at it. Golf. You want me to go golf? So my daddy would be like, you want to go golf in this? Hell no. You know why? I suck at it. So it makes me hate it. I say this game is stupid as shit. Why the hell am I hitting this little ass ball around? And I start saying the game sucks. Seriously. Because I'm so bad at it. For real. Golf is stupid as hell. Why would I want to play this dumb ass game? I don't even have any teammates. Stupid ass rules. Why can't I hit it twice? If I, you know what I'm saying? Why I got to use a putter? Why can't I use a driver? I start saying stuff like that. Right? And that's seriously how the bots sound about Madden. Because they're not having fun. Because they're not good at it. Seriously. Like, do y'all like anything you're not good at? Seriously. I don't, I don't, if I'm not good at it, I hate it. Stop it, Wesley. I'm actually, sir. No, 2K is not one of my bot games. Relax. Relax. 2K is not one of my bot games. Facts. I'm not good at sex, but I still like it. Jesus. Seriously, that's how golf is. That's literally how golf is for me. I suck at it. Do I want to play it? No. Do I think the game is stupid? Yes. Right? I mean, I don't really think the game is stupid. I think it's an amazing game, and I watch it a lot. You know, it's, it's, it's super impressive to me because I can't hit the shit at all. And it's a game I pretty much have given up on my life because I'm that bad at it. You know, and I think everybody is bad at golf. Nobody just hops on a golf course and goes off their first couple times. It just doesn't happen. Seriously, that's how I feel. And and so I don't complain. I don't complain about golf. I don't. Facts, Tom. Facts, Rich. How about this, Rich? If Madden 20 didn't have run plays, it might be the best game ever. Honestly. Madden CFM is like... Madden CFM is like golf where you could throw the ball instead of hit it with a club. <laughs> I agree, Ward. Yes. If suction tackling was still a thing, it would be a way better game. I've been doing my best. I've been doing my best to try to keep these podcasts. I want to try to keep these under an hour um, going into Madden 21. It's going to be tough, man. Once we start talking, it really goes, man. Yeah, and this is what else. Like, what else do you guys do? Honestly, you guys know me. I, I play video games. Like, I really do. I draw, right? What other hobbies do you guys have? And I want to know, do you guys spend any time or money on your hobbies? Like, and this is what's nuts to me is that how can, seriously, how can people ridicule other grown men for spending money on something they enjoy as much as video games? Literally, it makes no sense to me. How can you say, why do you spend money on a video? Because I enjoy it. Right? No. No, Skiba. No dudes could compete if the game was Sim. No fucking chance. If they came up with Sim rules, Kiv, Joke, Skimbo, uh, Problem, uh, me, er Wesley, uh, everybody would still be tough. It, that shit is not saving a single bot in the world. There is no sim rule that is saving any bot in the world. Because if you're that fucking good at the game, why would you just play sim when there's a million dollars to win? One, you're not that good. Or two, you have a bitch-ass mindset. And that person will never be good. 
I hate, though, I, I understand, I hate when people think that sim rules would change who's good at Madden. It wouldn't even come close. Honestly, you guys would be worse. It would make, it would make Kiv and Joke and the, and Ghost and these guys that much better. Seriously, they would beat the shit out of y'all even worse. I promise you guys that. I promise you guys that. If the gut... Skia, what? If the game was hard, what does hardcore sim? Oh, so with some of your bot friends would score on joke if it was hardcore sim? What the fuck is that? Yo, li what? Which which one of your Tommy bananas is gonna score on joke on hardcore sim? What the fuck is that? <coughs> Madden realism <coughs> Bro People don't understand People really don't understand Wait, This is what y'all understand Y'all don't understand how bad the bots are And how good the, the you know some of the best Madden players are And it's cool being a sim bum Bro Honestly, and some of my man PTA in here and Kia is in here. Listen, right? What could I do CFM wise? Madden twenty one is starting. What could I do CFM wise to prove you guys? To prove to you guys that you know we would be good on any mode. Would you guys watch me play a sim CFM where I could only run? I have like play cooldowns and punt on fourth down. Like, do you really think like like seriously? Is it worth? Because honestly, I would do it. I would do it because I think it would be fun. I really do if it was a committed CFM. I really would. But I don't know how... Do, do they have defensive cooldowns? Like, yo, you can't run cover two? <laughs> like, teams... The Tampa Bay Buccaneers ran cover two every play. The, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers ran, like, nickel normal cover two every play. Goins, 1 million percent. There's nothing wrong with being a bot. Bro, bots are 98% of video gamers. Bots are me. Watch me play Call of Duty tonight. I'm going to be hype as shit for the download to have to, to, get, to get killed more than I kill. That's what's going to happen. I'm going to have a, I'm going to be like a pig in shit tonight playing Call of Duty. Ha, 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 ha. Just going out there getting blasted. Because that's what gamers are. We're all bots, honestly. Seriously. I'm really not that big. I'm a bigger bot at Call of Duty than MLB right now at this point. Yo. Pig and shit, bro. I'm just... I, I, I just... Yes. Bots and, and bots bots run the video gaming world. They really do. You know. Yeah, that's what the Eagles do, Javi. That's what the Eagles do every play. Yes. Cover one or cover three or cover one or cover three every play. Mutt is an arcade mode, and it doesn't mean you're good at all. Guai moi moi gua moi. What what's my name? I agree, man, and that's why they have this tournament. It's called the Madden Classic, dude. You show up, you play with regular teams from the the from the game, downloaded the regular teams. You know, the regular NFL players on their specific rosters, you play with that, and you can win a belt that way. So unless you showed the fuck up for that tournament with your controller in your hand, I literally will never hear that complaint from anybody. I literally hate that complaint. Unless you were at that tournament. If you were at that tournament and you're a regs head and you grind regs, because they're out there and those dudes are tough. And you can listen to them. But at the end of the day, if you didn't show up for that tournament, I don't want to hear you complain. You know what I'm saying? I, honestly, and pe Jesse, and this is what Jesse says. Here goes Jesse. People didn't know about the MCS. And that leads me back to why I made the video in the first place. Here we go. We came full circle, Jesse. We came full circle. There it is. There it is, man. 
Kawhi and why? I'll tell you what. I've ne- I-, I never won a game when I had a 99 on my roster. <laughs> when the- <laughs> Once the 99s get there, you're right. I can't be. It's no skill anymore. Why man will never change, man. Ink Sully, let me tell you guys something. Where this Moody guy is and where I'm going is completely different levels. Listen, by the end, of, by this time next year, every little number, every little analytic will be over in every little atmosphere, like it, blown away. And you guys see it. Are you on? 2K signs a deal with the NFL. Well, listen, I will get both games, and I will play the shit out of both games, and and we will have fun. Bro, I don't want to have a much conversation, bro. Oof. Travel sauce I am, bro. I'm doing all I can. That's a lot on my plate, bro. I have a big-ass plate right here, but I can handle the big-ass plate, all right? This guy like Wesley G, you see him? He's just a fucking nerd. He sits in the house and runs bunch a million times a day. Wesley G does it. I mean, you know. Mud is trash. I agree. I agree, why? I agree, moi, gua, moi. I agree. Mutt is trash. No more arguing, bro. You're obviously angry. Do you guys? Do you guys think the MCS promotion is trash? Do you guys think that? Bro, people play video games that are fun. That's just how it is, bro. It don't matter. Do you guys think the MCS promotion is trash? I agree. I agree with it. The bots hate everything, Wesley. They hate bunch. They hate running. I don't know what they like. I don't know what the bots would like, bro. The bunch argument made me more mad. Now this year, this year, all people have to say to me is that people run with people run with a punter or quarterback. And honestly, I have to kind of shut up because they're right. That was bad, you know. But the um, but the um. But the bunch of years, I, I, I would have went to war with anybody. They're, they're all idiots. You think they could advertise on the loading screens? Um, do you think any of that? I agree. Obviously, I agree. The MCS uh, promotion could be a lot better. Um, do you guys feel like any of that burden falls on the players or it is not their responsibility? Because I feel like with all the work I've done and problem and, and I joke doing a little more work now, do, if we all made the same event, it would pop a little bit more because we're so much more uh, recognizable, right? What do you guys think? I don't know how I realized there was competitive men. I guess I was, I don't know. I guess I was always kind of in that loop since I started playing like in 08 competitively a little bit. I guess I was always like in the loop. I don't know. I don't even remember like, oh, like I don't even remember. It could be low. It could be. It could be promoted better. See, I don't know. Is it crazy that 
obviously the run sucked this year, but after watching it at the highest level, I kind of began, as I understood the run game more and trying to defend it, I kind of enjoyed it more as the year went on, if that makes any sense. All right, I'm dude. Hey, hey, hey moi, bro. You, it's been real, G. It's been real, G. It's been real. I appreciate you, man. How come no one ever talks about how EA spends more money on the video production than the prize pool? Am I the only one who doesn't give a shit about production? Yes, Bob Sacramento. <laughs> I think the production is important, and I think the production is very good of EA, bro. That I feel like Madden 17 and 18 was huge too. Maybe because me and Problem were in it. I don't know. Maybe we're just that we're just that much better than these Wesleys and shit. Maybe me and Problem really are just that much better than Wesley and shit. Like for real. We just put asses in the seats. Wesley, he don't really do it. Wesbian, he don't really do it. Uh, Ryan, they're not really, I don't know. My man, PT, I, the only ones that, the only CFM guys that are in my chat are, like, legitimately, like, level-headed guys, bro. Yeah. But, Ryan, that, that's because of, uh, Club Series. But, you know, I don't want to, I don't want to go on that tangent. CFM is awesome, bro. Personality to players go the real way. I agree, but we talked about this before, man. They could do a better job of they could do a better job of finding everybody's personality, you know. CFM, I need to find a good CFM. I'm not I'm not doing a CFM with I'm not doing a CFM with fucking dudes that are gonna quit when my team is too good. Cause it's not about during during the big game. Like they brought an interesting an interesting topic was on my Twitter this year because I follow a lot of the MLB guys about Trout is obviously the best player in baseball, right? But is he the face of baseball? You know? Cause Trout's kind of a laid back, quiet guy. Like, I would say there's four hundred people in here. I would be, I would bet venture three hundred of you guys wouldn't recognize Trout walking down the street, you know? Yeah, it's like, and, and I would venture that, you know, at the same time, 300 people would recognize Bryce Harper or Aaron Judge. I guess Judge because he's like 6'10 and shit. Josh Bell. Yeah, that's what I mean. I mean, but I feel like it's not, I think personality is not in a Madden game. You know, I don't think that gets shown while you're playing in a Madden game. I don't think that will ever... I don't, And I think Keynes is right about that. Like, you're not going to have any personality in a Madden game. It's about the personality outside of the Madden game. Like, you guys would say, I have personality, but I don't think that's ever shown in a mat during a game. You know? I, so, for me... Yeah, like, it's nothing crazy. I think you have to have more of that behind-the-scenes thing and, and really uh, get to know the person how it is. Now, obviously, you guys know me because you hear me talk every single day, you know? So, you know, people like Keynes, who's good at Madden, but, I, bro, we never hear him talk or know anything about him. He'll just show up and play, and y'all expect the man just to show up and, and do a bunch of things. Like, he's not going to do that when he's playing a game, you know? The cat... I will be honest. Capping is what made me like Madden. Honestly, Sherm Sticky really was like, he made me like playing Madden. He made he made Madden look cool to me. I swear to God, when I was like 16 or 17, whenever the hell it was, Sherm Sticky back on Madden Nation, I was like, bro, he made this shit look cool. Dead ass. Yeah, more interviews. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, 
Yeah, Sherm Sherm made me like, bro. I wanna I, I wanna beat people ass in Madden. I wanna go play my boys down the street and be Sherm sticky. Honestly, seriously, when I was a kid, or I don't know what a kid, whatever the hell that was. I was probably like sixteen or seventeen. No, but call you can't Call of Duty can't be compared to Madden ever. It just that's just a, that you just can't. Yeah, but the thing about Madden is you can't rely on that person. You know, you can't rely. Joel makes games better. Obviously, Problem and Skimbo, these guys would make the games better. But you you could have a year like me or Problem haven't played in the MCS in two years. So it's like you can't, that one player, you can't rely on that person, you know? That's why Madden is a little more difficult than, you know, a league like the Call of Duty, I guess. Oh, I believe it can definitely grow. I, I Dude. From 16 to 17, we talked about the arc. The Madden arc was here, bro. It really was. Drenny is... Yeah, imagine Drenny being... Drenny has the personality of my coffee cup. Yeah, Sherm was the man, bro. <laughs> no, we're not going to drag Drenny, though. Because he is the man, though, Canes. He, he can't be a spokesperson, but he's the man, bro. Journey like lightweight funny. Like Journey's like low key funny. Like low, low, low key funny. But he's not high key spokesperson, if that makes sense. Nah, I think Journey is the face of man kind of guy. So I don't know. I don't know if he's there yet. PJ, because you have to win to get to these tournaments. You can be the best. Yo, listen, Kiv won the Madden 18 championship, right? He was. He threw. Three picks in a game in a drive versus Skimbo, where if he if Skimbo would have caught one of the picks, Kiv wouldn't have made a dollar. So he went from not making a dollar, getting lucky to win a game versus Skimbo, and then all of a sudden having the best year of anybody. So the game is not is not that set to where the same people would win every time. You know? Yeah, and CC Drenny is the I have no uh I don't know who I don't know. Man, it's not that the game is so inconsistent. It's a lot of people are good at the game. You know? Like it's <laughs> or a lot of people are competing. A lot of people are grinding the shit out of man. A lot of people. People we never heard of, bro. Seriously are grinding the shit out of the game. And, and at the end of the day, you got to kind of respect that and respect them. All the pros and streamers. I See, I don't think pros and streamers trash the game. Dude. I don't know. Yeah. All right, Murray, we're not going to go down the fucking wish list, bro. Journey never capped, ever. He's just like, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. He got a good let's go, though, honestly. Journey's the man, bro. That's what I'm saying, bro. I, I, I said this today. The yard is going to be epic. The yard will be epic for Madden this year. It's going to be epic. Madden, like, as far as, like, streamers and YouTubers, the growth everybody made, people are going to double and triple that this year. The yard is going to be epic. And, Trey, honestly, we might need another squad. No, nah, Canes, it's going to be tough. We're going to make it tough. Like, we can just make our own rules. If it's not tough, we will make it tough, tough I promise you. I didn't hear, I don't know, Layton. I just have the utmost expectations for it, honestly. I'm just going to say, get your get your six ready, bro. Me and Trey, honestly, going to need a new team, bro. Facts, Trey. We're going to need to find some people, bro. Skimbo was like, you know, if, if we make a time where I can play and dedicate one hour a week to the yard, I'll play it. Blue's going to be sleep. 
Yous are going to be sleep. Because we got a hell six, Jesse. Our six is, bro, our six is hell. But we're just packing them all together, really. We're hosting tryouts, 1 million percent. There's going to be tryouts. We're going to have capping tryouts. <laughs> you got to be able to listen. You got to be able to get aired out. Because if, if you get aired out and catch feelings, then, you know. Because I've had people in my chat that I air them out and they catch feelings and they leave. You know, and I can't have that on my team. Yeah, Clef. It's going to be hard to rely on these people, bro. Seriously. You know, honestly, man, I, the biggest takeaway from the whole show is, man, I just like, I still will always have a passion to try to teach people why man at the highest level is entertaining and why it's not the cheese and all this and mutt is take, uh, you know, I feel like the negative look is just, I can, I feel like I can change that in anybody, you know, and, and. You know, if it's that negative, why do you do it? And also, man, it just goes to, like, how do you approach any situation that you're in? Do you approach it, approach it with just utmost negativity and anger and, and closed-minded just hatred if you don't like it? Or are you open-minded and a positive person? You know, and what type of energy are you bringing into everything that you do in life? You know, if you're mad at Madden, you're goddamn mad at your alarm clock that you have to wake up on Tuesday morning every day, Right? How are you going to approach, you know, your first hour at work the next day if you're that mad at it? Are you going to approach it how you approach Madden? You know, and, and that, what type of energy are you bringing? Are you that person that's completely mad about somebody's opinion that doesn't affect your life at all? You know what I'm saying? And that's essentially my biggest takeaway from this week in Madden, honestly. That's all. And I just hope, I just hope that maybe... One of the mad people out there. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and, and, and get a better attitude and really try to be a little bit more positive. Even if it's about something that I don't enjoy at all, you know? And if I don't enjoy it at all, you know, I'm not going to let it have that big effect on my life. But anyway, man, this was the show. Make sure you hit the like button. And honestly, the yard is going to be popping. So get your six ready to play my six, I am dedicated to have the best yard team in the Madden community, Madden 21.